didn't do the clap. I'm just that good at editing that I don't need to do the clap anymore. You know? I know. Editing's fun. Hello, Alive Youth Church. This What's is up? Hola. the AYC podcast at Alive WSFC. Woo! It's your boy, Jonathan. And Carson. And Anna. And I interrupted her. My bad. <laughs> That's like the number one rule in podcasts is don't interrupt people while they're talking. The and I one just rule. did it. Oops. But we're rolling. <laughs> what was that? Like a <laughs> oops. <laughs> oops. We need a soundboard. We're rolling. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Ooh. That'd be awesome. I do want to get a soundboard. Really bad. Bing bong. It would be a lot of fun. <laughs> we need laugh track. Cool. Bing bong. Clapping. <laughs> the only laughs we get. The, laugh uh, track. the whole crowd. Yeah. I love the. There's a couple podcasts that I listen to, and they have the soundboard, and sometimes it's like the best part. It, I think I feel like it just takes it next level. It's fun, next level. I'll work on it. Well, we're here with Anna Rivera, and uh, Anna has been a part of our youth ministry, a part of our church for probably okay, like fourteen time. or fifteen years. <laughs> yeah, I moved in when I was in fifth grade. I moved to Oregon and was here, so that was um, twenty fourteen years. Cause I'm twenty four. Wow. Uh, I moved when I was 10. Yeah, 14 years. She has played a number of different roles and, and led in a variety of different areas. But I would say the most like notable for me was when you had that season of leading worship for our youth church. Ayo. Which is cool because we're sitting with the current worship leader of Live Youth Church. Hey, yo. <laughs> She's at the ground, man. What's your favorite song? Me? Yeah. <sighs> from what era? <laughs> Are you talking about worship songs? Oh yes, the twenties. Because we got worship like the, the we got like I'm a big fan of like <laughs> oldie grace. worship songs. Like when I first started doing worship stuff, it was like "Lead Me to the Cross," like "Mighty to Save." Ayo. And I will always bring back a good like worship song. Some Lincoln Brewster. Yeah. Mercy Me. Yeah. I love it. Tenth Avenue North. Don't know what. Oh, that's is that Lincoln Park. That's, but that's then Lincoln Park. <laughs> that's not worship <laughs> at all. But then there's like when you're a kid, like the kid worship songs. It's like all day or one way, Jesus. There's two songs, all day and, and, and one way. Right? Hill song, just old school hill song. Big fan. Yeah. Old school. Let's play a game. Let's play a game. What, okay, I'll say a word. A okay. I'll say a word and you have to think of a song with that word in it. Wor- worship song or just uh, any song? Ooh, that'd be hard. That would be hard. Would be hard. Okay, worship song. Think of a <gasps> God. Oh, no. Here you go. Do you have, yeah, pass pull up phone. the there you go. word generator. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay, uh, so we made the rule. Any song, worship any or song, any song? Any song. Any song. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. I'll try to go I mean, easy. We could do worship. Extra points for worship song. Okay, here we go. Oh, extra points for worship Should it be worship song. leader versus worship leader? Yeah, I'll keep score. First one to start singing. <laughs> oh, that's, 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 okay. Okay. that's okay, nervousness. Okay, okay. First word. I play drums. I don't sing, man. Dance. Dance. Oh. Dance, dance. Oh, oh, oh wait, this is <laughs> you dance, can't just dance. you can't just sing the word and go <laughs> and twice. It's a competition. <laughs> dance, no, what's dance. that one song? Dance, dance. You're falling on and on, on, on. Dance, dance. Yeah, that's dance. I just give her the point. Who sings <laughs> At that this song? Point. That's the first uh, thing I thought of. It's an oldie. She's a I went, an oldie. You make she me feel lie. like dancing. I wanna dance the night away. Is it, I'm older than you guys. Uh, dancing queen. <laughs> there it is. Abba. Yeah, but Anna definitely got the point. She got the point. Yeah, um, just give it to her. Whatever. Uh, oh, this will be an easy one. Okay. Oh, that's too easy. You're both going to sing the same song, but here we go. Imagine. I Ima- can only imagine. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I, was about to sing. I totally song. didn't even do worship. <laughs> I was about to do the imagine of all the people song. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> that's where. all the people. So that yeah, was a yeah. two-pointer because that's a worship yeah, song. Yeah, she got three points now. I Whoa. thought you were Oh, wait, no, no. So we're all, so we're not. It's Okay, so we're doing normal songs. And worship songs, but two points for worship songs, yeah. one point for normal. Yeah. Okay. Zero zero. We're restarting. Okay. Says Ooh, the guy who was <laughs> down. <laughs> Three zero. Uh, That's fine, but it's okay. Home. Home. Hold home. on me as we go. I was singing this. As one. we roll down <laughs> at some familiar road. Home by Philip Phillips. You, didn't even, say sure. the, you didn't even sing the word home. Because I'm going to make this place your home. Okay. You yes. were on it. I. That's a good one. I was but thinking. I, think I don't know if that's his song though. I think he he sang that. It's still a someone song. else's song. Yeah, like it's a good song. But it's a good I song. was thinking, um, home, 
home on the range. <laughs> That's a good Let Disney me movie. go home. That's a good Disney movie. All right. Home. Okay, let's do um, one zero. She's hey. gonna get the good worship songs, though. I know it. She's <laughs> that's how she's gonna win this game. Fire, fire. Oh, this there was another guys. in the fire. Oh, you gotta worship. Okay, song. you know what though? Me. But you, you guys both started singing at the same tongue t- time, and you conceded quick because because he sang louder. Oh, I just didn't want to sing over you. I could overpower. See, you right. know. She kn- she remembers the w- the rule. Yeah, Alicia Keys. I didn't want to just go off okay, on you. Okay, I say just we Kiss. just both get a point. We just both get a point. Kiss, Kiss me, me through the phone. Out on the, the Milky Twilight. Out on the Milky Twilight. I <laughs> Milky Twilight. <laughs> no, yeah, isn't it? That's the Milky Way, like under the stars. New, that should be a new candy bar, Kiss Milky me Twilight. Kiss me out on the Milky Twilight. Uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. That's that's a pretty common one. I want you to keep going. Okay, with. so what are we at right now? Keep going with, with Kiss. We're tied 2-2. Keep going we're with the word Kiss it. until someone can't think of a song with the word oh, Kiss. Oh. Um, you go, Carson. So I got you mine. Go okay. Oh, okay. Um... Oh my gosh! Five, four. I did three, kiss me through the phone. Two. There you do I have go. to do another yeah, one? Yeah, no, that's good. Yeah, that counts. Okay. Kiss oh, me through okay. the phone. Okay. okay. You gotta sing it. Kiss me through the phone. See there you, you go. When I get home. <laughs> yeah, you there are you a drummer, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a drummer. Here's mine. Sha na 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 yo way. Kiss the girl. Kiss the girl. Oh, wow! Wow! wow. <laughs> <laughs> now you see her. Oh, okay. Um, kiss me by One Direction, but I don't remember how it goes. <gasps> Does that count? No, it doesn't know. count. You gotta so. sing it. You gotta sing it. I don't remember how it goes, but I just know that's the title of the song. Okay, I don't get the point. Anna and Preston sitting <laughs> in a tree. <laughs> that counts. All right, she's all right. Count. She's got three points now. She's beat last me. one. Here we go. <gasps> this is for all the marbles. Tiebreaker. Tiebreaker. Wait, are we tied? No, you're up by one now. So I, n- I need to think of okay, a worship song. Okay. All right, here we go. To get through. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. He's still reading. He's still reading. Happy. Happy. Because I'm happy. Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. Uh. Oh, I knew it. happy day. <laughs> happy day. Is that an old Hill song song? Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> Dang it. You know what, though, Carson? You I know that I uh, was, you know, technically AYC worship leader before you. Um, I have a little bit more experience you still under won. my belt. I am going to take all that, and I pass it off to you. <gasps> Thank uh, you. So... Someday, it's an honor. Someday, Thank you. young one. I'll <laughs> you young Padawan, learn. I'll get it. <laughs> I'll get it. <laughs> You'll beat everyone in this game. Dang it, dude! She beat me though, fair and square. But thank you. She gave. She gave it. She gave me the trophy, the imaginary trophy. Imagine all the trophies. I like that game. That's a fun one. That was fun. We should play that youth group sometime. That would be a good game to play youth group. Preston, tell your tell your boy. I'll pass it off. Yeah. Boom. Speaking of youth group. <gasps> speaking of youth group. Speaking of youth group. Last night was a really fun youth group night. Transition. It, it was. was. I don't know if we'll ever come on the podcast and be like, you know, last <laughs> night's youth group. <laughs> 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 yeah. Last worst. night's youth group, <laughs> uh, the youth pastor didn't do yeah. a very good job. Wah, okay. wah. <laughs> <laughs> Soundboard. The sound. Uh, but I think we could agree that it was at least like it was unique because. Yeah, it was we, different. We didn't have worship. Mm-hmm. We had this. It was a beautiful day. It was unique in Oregon. <laughs> Don't let <laughs> it get away. It's true. No, I think it was one of the first days that it was nice outside. Like, you didn't have yeah. to. Because we usually open that garage door, and everyone's just freezing, freezing. in here. Yeah. But everyone is outside. They were playing volleyball. Yeah. We got new basketballs. We had the spike ball out there. They had the beanbag No, it was the knockoff. It wasn't spike like ball. That. It was slamo. Slamo? The, yeah. The, the Walmart yeah. version. <laughs> yeah, we had the off-brand. That's the church right yeah, there. it worked just as great. The Walmart versions. We, we church A1. on a budget, baby. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, hey, it yo. was a fun time. I liked it. Yep. It was good. It was a great time. And uh, good message, too. From Jamin Chaney. Jamin Chaney? Killed Shout it. Out? J-Mo. Yeah. Slamo j J-Mo. Slamo j <laughs> <laughs> He w- yeah, he killed it. He talked about the importance of scripture, and he also did that at Lion's Den on Saturday, March 26th, the first one, and uh, Jonathan, you asked him to do it for youth group, right? Yeah, we had our inaugural uh, Lion's Den, yeah. which, um, just a quick shout out, uh, one of our next podcasts is actually going to be all about Lion's Den and kind of mm-hmm. the... Um, I shouldn't say all about. We're going to kind of talk about Lions Den as well as VIP conference, just some of the other stuff that go on within our youth ministry be- beyond just Sunday nights. So be on the lookout for that. But uh, yeah, Jamin, Carson asked Jamin to come up and share just a little five minute 
uh, quick talk on uh, what God's been doing in his life, and he really committed to just talking about the impact that scriptures had on forming him and, mm-hmm. and um, his character and his spiritual maturity. And as I sat and listened to him on Saturday, it was perfect for what I had planned for Sunday night at uh, Youth Church and just said, Jamin, if, if you'd be willing, I'd love to have you partner with me in speaking. And, and of course, he didn't uh, let us down. It was incredible. Yeah. No, he's great. super good. I was talking to these guys before. We went and got some tacos before this. And I was just saying, like, Jamin's the type of guy, and a lot of students that we have, but he's the type of guy that, like, he preached on the Bible, but he lives it out every yeah. day. Yeah. Like, he wasn't just speaking from, didn't just write a message that was random. He really lives that out in his everyday life. So that was yeah. really cool. And we have so many students that are like that here. Yeah. So many Good hungry time. people that want to know more yeah, about the Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you said that because I feel like we – and now – I'm jaded, like uh, maybe I don't have an uh, gr- incredible exposure with other youth ministries, but I do just think there's something special about our youth ministry with the student involvement mm-hmm. and like the opportunity to lead worship, to yeah. be a part of student leadership, mm-hmm. to serve and, and just kind of make the youth ministry their own. And Jamin, like you said, is just one of many that we have Yeah, I mean, you have like, even for our main services on Sunday, we had Daisy and yep. Sawyer on stage mm-hmm. and it was just really cool to be led Brooke by our high school students, which yeah. is incredible Brooke, Brooke does slides for main service all the time yeah yeah and yeah. uh and it was cool because uh, they serve and do they do their own worship team Brooks on worship team and uh and to finally kind of have like a student preach I guess since I've been here the last year that I've been a part of yeah. AYC um so mm-hmm. that was really really cool to see so yeah I've actually had it's cool because to have us talk about the bible last night and like practicals tip by tip things that the bible has transformed us in mm-hmm. Jonathan talking about uh, practical Bible reading tips. Um, I've had just multiple students. I don't know if you've experienced this too, but multiple students coming up to me and being like, I don't, what do you, what do I do? Mm-hmm. How do I read the Bible? Even yep. just last week, someone's like, Hey, I want to read the Bible. Where do I even start? Yeah. yeah. And so to have something last night where we just talked about practical things, super, super cool. Mm-hmm. That's actually, that's one of the number one questions I get from students because, uh, you know, uh, we spend a lot of our time doing the, this is what you need to do, you know, read your Bible, go to church, be, you know, pray, have a spiritual, we see, but we don't really just give the like practicals. These are things that help you, you know, like go to church. Well, okay. Like, you know, the whys and mm-hmm. things like that. And so mm-hmm. like uh, a few years ago, that's why I just kind of felt like that. I was like, well, that's great. But like set them up for the success to do it. And so I do get that asked question a lot. Like I want to read my Bible, but how and where and when. And so um, it was cool to have Jamin give the, personal testimony of like this is why i do it. this is what i've seen from it yeah and then give students opportunity to go here's where you start you know yeah so it was good yeah um what was your i have a question for you jonathan Yo. what was your because you grew up in the church as well like we both grew up pastors kids kind of like we're born into it but what was your first experience with learning how to read the bible how did you figure yeah. that out where did you start you know so i think growing up the like instruction to read your Bible, be in the Word, whether it came from you know my parents, which I had phenomenal parents. They didn't necessarily force that on me. They they kind of modeled that lifestyle to me, and it was spoken about. But um, but you know you hear it in church a lot from your youth pastor, or your senior pastors, camps, whatever. And when you grow up in that environment, that atm- atmosphere, I think a lot of times it sound it seems more like just um, an extra chore. Take out the garbage, clean your room, read yeah. your Bible. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so that's a big part of it. Um, it wasn't actually until college though, like Bible college mm-hmm. that I established finally like a good, healthy routine of scripture, of reading scripture. And where I took what was like in Bible college, a textbook, that's why the way I viewed the Bible, just a textbook mm-hmm. and turn it into like what I would call like maybe like relationship, like where I was actually seeing, experiencing God through the conversation of scripture, if that makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. Wh- what about you? Oh, no, that's awesome. That's super cool. It's kind of crazy that, like, it took Bible college to kind of realize, like, okay, I'm not going to view this as just a textbook. Yeah. Um, I So I have this memory when I was a kid. My family used to always do Donut and Devo Saturdays. So we'd go oh, to the local cool. grocery store, and it was called Hagen's. I don't know. Shout out to Hagen's. I don't know where that's at. That Hagen? Washington thing? Is that an Oregon thing? You know what Hagen's is? You grew up in Washington. Yeah, yeah, we didn't have Hagen's. You're from the well, 509. <laughs> 509. Well, I'm from the eastern side of the Hagen's Washington. Hagen's is like Roth's, but okay. I think that Hagen's Donuts beat 
all other grocery stores. Mm. So they just have like coffee set up, donuts, all the things. So we'd go there on a Saturday morning with my family. We'd pull out our Bibles, get our donuts, our coffee, uh, and just dive in. And we followed the SOAP method. So S-O-A-P, SOAP. What does that stand for? It stands for Scripture, Observation, Application, Prayer. Oh. So we just follow that. We'd go through, we'd find a scripture randomly in the Bible. I think my dad would pull out something. We'd find it, and we'd kind of break it apart yeah. and then do a prayer at the bottom. But it's funny to go back at old journals from when I was a kid, yeah. like little life journals, and read them, and it's like scripture is from like Job or something. It's just some weird <laughs> random verse that is just kind of like, what the heck? Out of context completely. Yeah. And it'd be like, or something in Psalm, like, worship God with all your voice. And the observation is like, I think that they are telling us to worship God with all our voice. Application. I should worship God with all my <laughs> like, heart and soul or whatever it is. Prayer. Lord, please help me journal better. <laughs> or like, please help me worship you. Yeah. Amen. And that's like it. But that's like the foundation of where I started, yeah, where I learned awesome. how to do it, where I learned the discipline of, yep. hey, Saturday mornings, that's what we do. That's cool. And that's kind of how I got introduced to it. Yeah. But And then it just kind of got more in depth from there. Sometimes I look back at my journals when I was in like, second grade and i'm like oh my gosh you preach anna like you go off that's like a good word that's cool so it's really cool yeah that's kind of where i got started with that i uh mine was kind of similar was about i took a gap year after Mm. i graduated high school before i went to hillsong and that was kind of the summer where i really actually like or the year i really started to like get into it and um my my papa and my friend joaquin both recommended that i start with romans yeah it's kind of a the book of the Bible that kind of tells you what it's like to be a Christian mm-hmm. kind of thing. And, um, and they both said, and it's okay to read something and not understand everything. Yeah. Because like, that's how you start with anything, whether it's a new job, a new sport or school or a new class, like it's okay, like to go into it and necessarily not understand it. Yeah. Like, and I think that's where having like Bible studies on Saturday mornings with your family or your friends help because then i've never heard that soap thing before that's really oh really cool. oh, i've never cool. heard of that mm-hmm. yeah yeah so that's really that's dope i'm yeah. gonna use that in my own personal life that's I've never even heard of that that's what changed my life too it just mm-hmm. simplified that's super cool it gave me a practical easy pattern yeah. you know and one of the th- so the the o of that observation so right. take your scripture whatever that is maybe you follow a reading plan maybe going through romans or maybe it's just one verse mm-hmm. you take your scripture this is what stuck out to me and then the observation part kind of going what you said it's okay to like observe and have a question like what what does this actually mean or who was this guy paul you know mm-hmm. and and actually write about that and then maybe even do you know further discovery or or that's when you have a friend or like you with your family and they mm-hmm. discuss it and talk about it and grow deeper in yeah. it and like um the permission to not know everything like it's so it's so freeing like because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. the bible can be intimidating I think especially for young people yeah and and when you're around like church people which you're going to be if you're interested in the bible those go hand in hand yeah like there's people who seem to be just like Bible scholars and they're brilliant. They know the Greek and the Hebrew. They yeah. can, like recite all the yeah. books well, they just got <laughs> in crazy, order, like, alphabetical memory. order. Dude, yeah. the memory people, like they yeah. know, <laughs> oh my goodness. Like they can just recite the entire, like, I don't even know, yeah. Old yeah. Testament. Like they're a, yeah. like they're a rabbi. Oh yeah. God. Yeah. You know what I mean? There was one time and when I was in seventh grade, we had a youth leader that told me if I, um, gave her if I recited a verse and memorized it she'd give me a dollar for every verse oh, and yeah. it'd go towards summer camp yeah and I went to summer camp for free that year you guys every every I was, week like, pulling out like every Jesus week. wept and she's yeah. like okay another dollar I was like yes, John 316 yeah. yeah and I just started like memorizing them I'd like memorize in the bathroom and like go out and like recite it and that's that's hilarious. yeah we should why don't, don't you share we should do that again no why don't you tell <laughs> us what verse it was that you memorized right now it's more uh, of a short I'll give you, I'll give you a dollar I'll More of a short term memorizing. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I know all of the Bible. I just can't think of that right now. <laughs> it's pressure. But I yeah, the the that I don't know, like different inspiration, like for you is to get a dollar. That's great. Like, you know, but like out of that, because you know, there's a conflicting like in Bible college it was the conflicting of like I literally would have professors like tell me like, Hey, you need to have a time where you're reading your Bible when it's not for homework in school. And it was That's just hard. Yeah. yeah it, it's, mm-hmm. it is really tough when like you're doing so much reading through college yeah. and yeah. it's all really similar style of reading. And I finally had one professor. I was like, you're getting the word of God in you. Like if it's, f- if it's for an assignment or a personal, like just like accept it, like celebrate that. It was so freeing mm, to cool. go like, that's absolutely quit being so hard on myself all 
the time. Like, I don't think that was the intention of the Bible was it to have it to be like a something that you can like let God down if you don't mm. read it or do you know what I'm saying by that? Yeah, like, you, I, I don't yeah. know how to word that, but well, even just like the title of this paper that we like filled out last night, it says stop being bullied by the Bible. Yeah. Like that's so easy to just for our girls. We're doing a Bible reading plan and it has the little check marks that you fill out each day. And like, I've missed a few days to be honest. And mm-hmm. it's like kind of, you get that feeling of like, <gasps> Oh my God, do I need to go back? Yeah. Do I, need, I just to check it off? Yeah. Like, or should yeah. I just start where <laughs> the day is? Yep. Like, oh my gosh. Like, almost a, It's so a easy guilt. to feel like you haven't done mm-hmm. your assignment for the yeah. day. Yeah. <laughs> and it like, shouldn't be that way. Like, the Bible, I mean, when you first start reading it, is intimidating because, like, of that factor of, like, oh, I, you know, if you start reading, you're like, oh, I don't know what's going on. But then it's right. also intimidating because it's like you look at it on the table and you haven't read it and you're intimidated, like, I know I'm supposed to pick it up. Yeah. I know I'm supposed to read it and I haven't read it today mm-hmm. or I haven't read it in a week or I haven't read it in a month or whatever. And like, that's not like how God wants you to feel, but he still wants you to read it because those are yeah. his words and the way he's going to also speak to you yep. in your life. And it shouldn't be something like you said that we view as a textbook or as, um, you know, something we need to study in order to go to youth group or whatever. Like it should be something that we want to open and be like, okay, God, like, what are you saying? You know what I mean? Like, like, and once you kind of get over that intimidation or like you you stop being bullied by the Bible, it becomes something you you like desire to read, but it doesn't mean you don't struggle with like, you know, maybe missing a day here and there or missing a week or whatever. It's just building that discipline to go, okay, like, yes, this is a book with God, this is your word. And I want to hear from you. So I'm going to discipline myself to listen and to read. I I think that I want missing a day to be more like, um, to leave me wanting like more rather Mm. than feeling guilty. Like, like if, like if I don't eat lunch by the time I get to dinner, I'm like, Oh man, I'm super hungry. Oh yeah. I forgot to eat lunch today. I'm not like, Oh, I feel so guilty. I didn't eat lunch. I better eat lunch and dinner tonight. Do you, do you know what I mean? Like yeah, no, I want it to be, I want to be hungry. I yep. want to be like yeah. yep. so dependent and uh, nourished. I mean, it, literally the Bible describes itself as like the bread, bread of life to yeah. bring us life. And so I want that nourishment and I need it. Not just want, I need it as well. Yep. And so there is an element too, where like, I don't want to just sit here and go like, don't worry if you didn't <laughs> read, you know, like it's let's fine. be dependent on the word of God. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah build so that true. discipline to like, yeah. And not the yep. discipline, but the hunger to be like mm-hmm. sweet. Like God, I get, to, I get to hear from you today. Yeah. I get yeah. the chance to open the Bible and to read, yeah. you know, what you've done in others' lives and what you promise you're going to do in mine. Yeah. And I'm not yeah. like a neuroscientist. I, I don't even know if that's the right word. Like I don't know how to study the brain <laughs> and how it works, <laughs> but I do know this, that there's no lack of content being consumed by our society today. We're, we're putting stuff in our brain, in yep. our heart, and it's, yep. it's transforming mm-hmm. us and changing us mm-hmm. whether we realize it or not. Mm-hmm. So that's why it's, an, it's so like, crucial that we're intentional with what we are consuming. You know? And if we're only consuming TikTok, social media, Snapchat, uh, you know, whatever, TV, and, and you know, even school conversations, if we're only consuming that, our life will reflect that. Yep. You know? And that's why we need the truth to establish like, who we are in order to then deflect the lies, deflect yeah. the, the yeah. 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 And that's what Jamin was saying last night yeah. too. Um, and I love that. Mm-hmm. And just exactly what you said, Jamin was saying like the Bible said, Jamin was telling us the Bible says like what you say is what's what your heart is filled of. Yeah. yeah. Yep, absolutely. And like we want to not fill our heart with TikTok and Instagram all the time. Totally. But like not saying that those things can't be good or that you can't, you know, retain good information mm-hmm. but most of the time you're not yeah and uh yeah focus on other things that are going to fill you like yeah. the bible and holy spirit instead of red bulls yeah uh, well and that's it. just it like red, red bull bulls. uh money video games yeah. tiktok alcohol all those things are like dependent on the consumer Mm-hmm. And are you mature enough to handle it and, and how much you consume or you take? You know, it's all about like moderation. Mm-hmm. And, you know, like uh, for some people, like we've talked about this in the past, like I don't do Red Bull anymore because like I just was like every day and I was just like <laughs> not healthy and good yeah. for me, you know. And so I just have to cut it off. It's a discipline to put in my life. I'm not going to do that anymore. And so it's like same thing with like with scripture. Like I highly encourage people to take a break from some of these other like uh, content or entertainment 
platforms. Yeah. Yeah. Take yeah. a break, man. Like mm-hmm. cleanse yourself. Like it's, it's good to do that. Mm. And to even just prove to yourself, like, am I addicted? Am I actually being changed and transformed from that more yeah. than I well, realized? That's what you were saying last night is you're like, that's why I like to have my paper Bible yeah. because this has all the notifications that pop up on it. And yeah. all of a sudden you're like, I'm going to sit down and read my Bible. And then all of a sudden you're on Instagram. And you're like, how did I get here yeah, again? Totally. Yep. <laughs> how did I s- now I'm like uh, scrolling through TikTok for an hour and realize, oh yeah, I was reading my Bible. Yeah. But I think one thing I've really, f- I mean, for anyone that's listening today, like you, the one answer that I'd give is like, okay, where do I start my Bible? I, I've been going through the book of John and then I started in Acts. Yeah. And that's just like, it just talks about the gospel, the story of Jesus, mm-hmm. who he was, his teachings, his words, and to just immerse yourself in his life. Except, I mean, some people are like, oh, where do I start? Do I start in Genesis? And then you hit Leviticus and you're like, what is this? Yeah. This is, a, what am I reading? Yep. Like, that's great. But I think the book of John is such a cool place to start mm-hmm. and it just wrecks you. And I've fallen so in love this, even just this last month with the gospel and why Jesus came, what he's all about, who I am because of it, mm. and then what I get to do. Like you're reading stories about these crazy miracles that Jesus did and then how people were filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And then they went out and started doing crazy miracles. And it's just it's empowering to read that that we serve and, and believe in a God that literally died and rose again for us mm. so that we can have access to to God and then we get to go yep. do those same things with the Holy Spirit inside of us like that's so cool and when you read that and you ask God for a passion and a longing and a th- like yeah. a hunger that yeah. you're talking about like to ask God for a hunger to want to read the Bible is like number one mm-hmm. and then to just like have a discipline to read it every day even when you're not feeling it and yep. you're like I don't know what I'm reading there's something powerful about even sitting down and just having the discipline of like reading something yeah, yeah. choosing God still. choosing yep. it yeah even when you feel like there's not this powerful spark moment where you're like ah the Lord spoke to me yeah it's just a small discipline that yep. that changes us so just to keep rolling yeah with it. super super cool I, I would just say this lastly and I didn't say this last night I, I meant to but you know just didn't um is that w- a lot of students like will ask no, I shouldn't just restrict this to students people uh, yeah, us probably included we're like I just want to hear God's voice. I want to know God's plan for my life. You know, and we long to hear God's voice while the whole time ignoring God's word. And I, I think mm. it's the primary way in which he speaks to us is, yeah. is, is scripture. And I think, mm-hmm. th- and, and I, I should say that include the Holy Spirit. I think those partner together to help us to uh, discern and understand scripture. And so, man, if you have questions about God, like go to his word, but go to people too, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. and, and Holy Spirit, trustworthy mentors and, and, even friends and scripture, I mean, what a great way to get to know God, who, by the way, is like not hiding from us. He's like eager to reveal who he is mm-hmm. to us. And so that's good. Let's do that. Yeah. 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 Thank you so much Such for a good time. Thank yes. you for I being love on here. talking about the Bible. I could be here for another 40 minutes. Well, we don't want that. We are going (laughs) to do that. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Hey, yes. as always, join us on Sunday nights. You know it's when we meet a live youth church, 7 o'clock at West Salem Foursquare Church. Please join us on... Somebody's Siri just went off. Yeah. <laughs> well, what did it say? It said, um, I found this on the web. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to make a joke. Hey, Siri, what it. time are Sunday morning services at West Salem Four Square Church? 9 a.m. and 11 a.m. Okay. I found this on the web. Oh, he's got the guy on for Siri. West Salem Four Square Church. Check it out. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it quiet. said, but uh, 9 and 11 a.m. Oh, at uh, a Sunday morning's West Salem Four Square Come Church. Come sit with us. And yeah. then. Uh, we have our Lion's Den. This is our high school and young adults uh, men Woo! gathering. And the next one is April 23rd. It's April a Saturday. 23rd. <laughs> yeah. and, April 23rd. Uh, it's going to be. Is that too soon to talk about it? No. Good. No, I was just, I was going to scream, but I kind of held it back because I knew I'd make it hurt people's and ears. And girls conference. Girls conf. Some point in 2023. <laughs> what's your Instagram? What's the, what's the VIP girls Instagram? At VIP girls conf. Girls conf. Conf. VIP. Hey, Love yo. it. And then do you have your Bible study, your Devo group? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, high school girls, if you are busy on a Tuesday morning, which... What? You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be at 6.30 a.m. unless you want to sleep, but that's lame. Come to do devotions with us at Urban Grange, high school girls. 
6.30 a.m. Tuesdays. Let's go. AYC Podcast. Thanks for listening. Thanks for being here, Jonathan and Anna. Tons of fun. Thanks, Carson. We love y'all, and we will see you Sunday at 9, 11, and 7. Bye-bye.